Ashley and Maya were inseparable. They lived on a quiet street lined with identical houses. Every day after school, they'd meet at the old oak tree by the corner. Then they'd head to Maya's house, a cozy place with a big backyard perfect for their adventures. One sweltering summer afternoon, Ashley waited at the oak tree. The sun beat down on her neck. Maya was late. This was unlike her. Ashley started to worry. Finally, Ashley decided to go to Maya's house. As she walked up the driveway, she noticed something strange. The curtains in Maya's room were drawn. It was odd because Maya always kept them open. Ashley rang the doorbell, no answer. She tried again, still no one came. Ashley's heart pounded in her chest. Where could Maya be? Over the next few days, Maya's strange behavior continued. She was distant and quiet. Sometimes Ashley caught her staring into space, a blank look on her face. One evening while watching TV, Ashley noticed a peculiar mark on Maya's arm. It was a swirling symbol that looked ancient. When Ashley asked about it, Maya just shrugged and pulled her sleeve down. Later that night, Ashley heard strange noises coming from Maya's room. It sounded like whispers, but she couldn't make out the words. Ashley knocked on Maya's door, but there was no answer. The whispers stopped. Ashley felt a shiver run down her spine. Something wasn't right. Her best friend was keeping secrets, and a terrible feeling was growing in Ashley's stomach. The next morning, Ashley woke up with a start. Maya was gone. Her bed was neatly made, but her backpack and favourite jacket were missing. Panic surged through Ashley. Ashley searched the house from top to bottom. No Maya. She ran to Maya's parents, her voice trembling. Maya's gone! They searched the neighbourhood, calling Maya's name until their voices were hoarse. Hours turned into a blur of worry and fear. The police arrived, their faces grim. They asked questions, but Ashley had no answers. The police searched Maya's room. They found no signs of forced entry, no struggle. It was as if Maya had vanished into thin air. Ashley sat in the corner of Maya's room, clutching her knees to her chest. The room felt strangely empty, as if all the warmth had been sucked out of it. Days turned into weeks, but there was still no sign of Maya. Ashley couldn't sleep. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of leaves outside her window made her jump. She felt like she was being watched. One night, Ashley was home alone. A storm raged outside, rain lashing against the windows. She sat curled up on the sofa, hugging a pillow. The power flickered and died, plunging the house into darkness. Suddenly, she heard it again. The whispers, this time, they seemed closer, coming from the walls themselves. Maya, Ashley whispered, her voice trembling. The whispers grew louder, swirling around her like the wind. Ashley felt a cold breath on her cheek, and a wave of dizziness washed over her. Then, as quickly as they started, the whispers faded, leaving behind an eerie silence. Determined to find out what happened to Maya, Ashley returned to Maya's house. She searched every nook and cranny. She had to know the truth. In the back of Maya's closet, behind a pile of old boxes, Ashley discovered a loose floorboard. Curiosity peaked, she pried it open. Beneath it, she found a small, dusty notebook and a narrow, dark opening in the floor. Ashley's heart pounded. Could this be it? Was this the answer she had been looking for? With a deep breath, she squeezed through the opening and found herself in a narrow, damp passageway that smelled of mildew and earth. The passage was dark and cramped, but Ashley pushed forward, her flashlight beam dancing over the rough-hewn walls. The air grew colder as she descended deeper into the earth. Where did this lead and what would she find at the end? The passage opened into a small underground chamber. In the centre of the chamber, illuminated by a single flickering light bulb, was a wooden table. On the table lay the notebook Ashley had found under the floorboard. Ashley opened the notebook. Inside, Maya had drawn strange symbols and diagrams, accompanied by cryptic notes. The symbols were similar to the one Ashley had seen on Maya's arm. It was like a diary, but one that spoke in a language Ashley didn't understand. As Ashley flipped through the pages, she heard a noise behind her. She spun around, her heart racing, but there was no one there. The chamber was empty. Ashley was alone. Ashley never found Maya. The police dismissed the secret passage as an old drainage tunnel, and the notebook remained a mystery. But Ashley never forgot the whispers, the strange symbols, or the chilling feeling that something was terribly wrong. Had Maya run away, or had something more sinister taken her? Ashley was left with more questions than answers, haunted by the unsolved mystery of her missing best friend.